Do you use the 2 plus 8 prioritization system? In this week's episode, we're going to do a live processing session for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With To Do Is series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode it's a live, well kind of, live 2 plus 8 processing system. Because I get a lot of questions about why it takes them people so long to do the processing or the prioritization at the end of the day when actually it should be taking you less than 10 minutes. So I thought the best way to show you how to do this is if I do a live video of me doing the 2 plus 8 and I'm going to show you how to set everything up just in case you missed that episode that I did a few months ago. So before we go into Todoist, I would just like to say if you like this episode and you get some real value from it, then please help me by hitting that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get the latest features and tips and tricks on using Todoist, then please subscribe to the channel. Oh, and by the way, if you are brand new to Todoist, then I do have a free online course that will take you through setting up your very own Todoist and that's available on my learning center and for those of you registered with Skillshare you can also find it in Skillshare. Okay let's go into Todoist now and I'm going to show you how to set up and do the 2 plus 8 prioritization system. Okay so when we start the day we start over here in what I like to call today's objectives. Now these are the two tasks that you have decided are going to be the two objectives that you will complete no matter what today. And in this case, I've got get new security card from HR and review organization structure with Sarah. Those are my two objectives. Now, that's all I want to see to be able to focus my mind on the two things I want to complete today. And that is a key part of what we, why we have this objectives filter here. And in a second, I'll go through the, di the different filters that we have. Once I've done that and I've got my mind focused, we move into, or I move into what's called today's focus. Now, this is the area that I'm going to spend most of the day. These are the 10 tasks that I have assigned myself today to complete in order for me to be able to say I've had a very productive day. If I don't do anything else all day, as long as I get these 10 tasks complete, including my two objectives, I will be happy. I will have had a very productive day. Now, the way I like to organize it, and this is entirely up to you, is my P1 task, that's the red tasks up here. These are my objectives. Then I have my morning tasks, the tasks that I'm going to do in the morning, which are the P2 tasks, which come up as orange here. And then I like to see my afternoon tasks, which are the blue tasks down here. That's just my general guideline when I'm organizing things. You know, orange tasks are going to be morning tasks. Blue tasks are going to be afternoon or PM tasks. Now, these are the 10 tasks that I've assigned for today that are going to be my focus task for today, which is what I call today's focus. Now, as we go through the day and I clear these out and we get it down to zero, which includes the today's objectives, these numbers obviously are going to get smaller and smaller. Now, the golden 10 includes today, and there's a reason behind that, and I'll explain in a moment, uh, plus tomorrow. So I've got today and tomorrow tasks in here so I can do my golden 10. Now if I was to do my golden 10 first thing in the morning of course there's 22 tasks there that means you know it's not going to happen I'm not going to that's not 10 tasks that's 22 so I have to do some prioritizing but normally when I get down to here so today's focus is where I'm working from so let's just say I've done all these tasks oh I love doing this and we're checking them off we're checking them off we're checking them off and they're all done and let's just say that these two tasks I didn't do there was some reason why I never got to them I couldn't do them but what you'll notice now is my objectives are clear there's nothing there my two objectives 
that are remaining. Now I have 14 tasks in gold and 10. I've got today's task that I didn't do and I've got tomorrow's 12 tasks in there, which means I'm going to have to do some prioritizing because this number has to come down to 10 tasks. So let's just say that this particular thing here is something that I really have to do because my back is hurting or my neck is hurting. And I know that I have to review my posture to, to find some ways that I can get my posture better. So I think this is actually a priority task. So I'm going to reassign this for tomorrow. This is what I would do first. I'm just going to hit the date. I'm going to hit for tomorrow. So now we've got I think 13 tasks in there, yes, because we got one. And follow up David Heron. Now let's just say, imagine that today is a Friday and I'm thinking, well, okay, I missed that today. I'm gonna have to do that on Monday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the date over to Monday. So now in golden 10, we've got 13 tasks. Now it's the end of the day. This is what we're gonna imagine now. It's the end of the day and I've got to now get these down to 10. What are the, t the three tasks that I'm not going to do? So. First up, I'm going to see I've got a reminder. Now, the good news is about a reminder is that's not something that I actually have to worry about. It's not actually a task. It's just a reminder that we have to make a decision about the builder. Again, let's imagine it's Friday. I'm thinking, well, OK, I'll talk to my wife about that on Saturday. So I'm just going to change the date on that one. Oops, I'm wrong, wrong button. We click on the calendar icon here and I'm going to dro drop that one in for Saturday. So I'm going to hit uh, where are we? We are it's Friday. So Saturday, I'm going to drop that into Saturday. Now we're down to 12. I've got a tickler. Now, I don't actually include the tickler file. <clears throat> that just comes up because I see it right at the top. It's a red flag, but I've seen it now. I know that I have to do it. Now, the beauty of this is I actually have uh, a link. So I'm thinking, OK, well, I may as well do that now because it's going to take me 30 seconds. So I'm just going to hit that. Uh, I opens up the above and beyonds website in their tour dates and I can just do a quick scan down here what I'm looking for is Seoul uh, or South Korea there's nothing coming up until well up, up until the end of November that task is now done I can click out of it and I'm going to check it now this is a repeating one it comes up every month so that's done now we're down to 11 which is great so I've cleared the reminder which isn't really a task. I've cleared the tickler, that's done. So now what do I need to do is to get, again, I'm focusing on getting this down to 10 and I want two objectives for tomorrow. So I can now, I've got one space open for objectives. Now the thing is, you don't actually have to have two objectives tomorrow. It's just a nice balance to have. So I'm going to come down here and think, wow, yeah, editing chapter nine of my Time and Life Mastery book has been on my list for quite some time. I haven't done it. I'm going to make that an objective task. So bang, I'm hitting that. So now I've got my two objectives for tomorrow. That's great. I've got my morning task and I've got my uh, afternoon task. Now, the thing is, I've only I've got 11. Something has to go. So what I would do now is I would go through my list here looking for things that would would not necessarily be something I could do tomorrow or maybe I don't necessarily need to do tomorrow. So I'm looking down here, I'm looking down here and then I see that we've got clean house. Now cleaning the house is important but looking at to tomorrow's where I'm going to be and everything I'm thinking now nah, this is definitely not going to happen tomorrow so I can actually get rid of that but I have to redate it. Uh, so tomorrow is Friday, but I'm going to move that over to Sunday, I think, because Sunday gives me more time. Now I've got my golden 10 down to 10. Now I'm ready to go. Now in total, even though I was speaking and explaining at the same time, that whole process has taken me less than 10 minutes to do. So that's how you do the 2 plus 8. It's why I call it the golden 10. It's the 10 tasks that you can organize and decide on for the next day. You get into the habit of doing that every single day, at the end of every single day, you are going to find that your productivity explodes because you're focused on what is important. And that's the whole point. So remember, we start off the day with today's objectives. We move them. That's just a reminder to tell you, you know, what two things you are definitely going to do today, no matter what. You spend most of the day in today's focus and you finish the day in golden 10. Now, for some of you, you may have the next actions in there as well, which you can go into if you complete your today's focus task. Now, the key question, 
what are these filters now I've done the videos on this many times before but I'll give you a refresher today's objectives is really quite simple I'm just going to edit the filter it's today and p1 that's really really quite simple today and p1 as you can see right there uh, and you can just set that up as long as you're using the flags then you are going to be fine with that query today's focus is a little less a little little more complicated but you just have to remember to put the exclamation mark in before the p4 what that means is today and not p4 p4 remember is the white flag you don't want those in your focus task that's the goal that's today's focus so today and p4 and the golden 10 and there's a reason as I explained is two days and p not p4 two days because again if you want to see tasks that you might not have completed today and there are reasons why you may not have done that so you want to be able to see them when you go into this view so you can actually decide on what tasks are remaining whether you want to reschedule them as i did okay hopefully that's cleared up the eye over the issues of the two plus eight how to do it as you can see even when i'm trying to explain what i'm doing i can still do it in less than 10 minutes all you need to do is to be clear in your mind about what's important and what you want to get done tomorrow and the, the, the you know you focus your mind on making sure you get those 10 tasks done of course if you get those 10 tasks done you can move into next actions or you can work on anything else or better still just go home early okay well thank you very much for watching this video it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.